Welcome to Rhinos and Aliens. My little brother, the way our relationship really fused is through rap, through rapping, through our experiences together and shit, through me saying, like, this is a real nigga, like, this is, like, like he really ain't just, just saying shit just to say shit. Like, yeah, that's something. It's cap from, rap, you yeah, know what I mean? That's like, something he, I want people to really understand. When I say my name G, that don't mean I'm the biggest gangster. That don't mean I'm, like... I got the most money or nothing. I mean, G is a motherfucker that stand on principle and just, I'm going to always be G in every room I go to. You like, bro, I don't, care, I don't care if you somebody that, yeah, I'm a street nigga, so I really don't look at, but but the difference between me, like, I never claim the fact that I'm a street yeah, nigga. Yeah, niggas like, don't be trying to be Like, I don't nigga. be saying, like, like I'm a street nigga. I ain't saying that 24-7, like, you know what I mean? I ain't trying to perpetuate that. I got kids, all that. I don't want, that's Respect. not the example, you feel yeah. me? But I am a street nigga, though. Like, you know what I mean? Like, looking I mean. at it from an outside perspective. Like how a motherfucker would label me, they would say that. Yeah, like you know, I mean that, that, that man. But Hell you yeah. expect almost more from yourself. I expect myself to oh, never be. You know what just it is. Subjected to that, you feel me? Like it is. I never will. Be, that's never what gonna be. Like I never look at what's going on in my world. Like mm-hmm. this is what it should be. You feel me? Like yeah. When and I like, see what's going on in my world, like it's means to ends. It's mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. it's what it is. Sometimes you gotta accept. The situation that you win for what it is, that's what it is. Come but that I never, ever, ever glorify the negatives. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, like, and that's what that's the that's the main purpose of me saying that because when you really is like that and you really been through them situations and shit like that, you don't want other people in that same. Not even you don't want them in that situation. You don't want to come off as one of them people that you could tell is saying they this or saying they that to gain a certain audience or attention. When you really living like that and you really feeding your kids off of. Shit that you done did, you feel me? And you really be out here like that, yeah, bro. That shit, now you thinking of ways to get out of that shit. You are not thinking of ways to keep perpetuating that's this it, shit. That's like my this is my thing, main. Man. This I'm I don't this give and a I'm fuck that. If like you got felonies. Yeah, bro. That shit not cool. You never been arrested. I don't give a fuck if you never smoke nobody. You ain't never bust your gun. You know what I mean? Like if you a stand up motherfucker, I can see that. Yeah, that's if basically you a rat matter. bastard. I can see that. Exactly. If you a punk it, it ass, it doesn't nigga, matter the field. It don't matter. I don't give a fuck what color you is. I don't give a fuck how strong you is. I don't give a fuck how tall, short, motherfucker, whatever your rap sheet is, nigga. I'm gonna judge your character off of my interactions with you. Yeah, you don't gotta be a street nigga. When I'm around you, what type of nigga is this really? You know what I mean? Is this nigga just like you might be a square? You might be a nerd. You might just be in school. You might not want nothing to do with this. But that might be the person you I'm respect the most. I'm going to fuck with you hard yeah. because yeah. you know who you is and that's who you is all the time. Hell yeah. If I'm you not showing bump, out. Yeah. 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 You ain't never going to jump out your skin to be this, this nigga for the next motherfucker. Like, yo, that's who I am. I can name 10 motherfuckers in the industry right now that motherfuckers love to death. And I'm looking at this nigga like, bro, you, it's no way in the fucking universe that you really like how you say you is. Yo, real shit. When I live. It, but like, dog, I can see right through you, my nigga. Because I'm really out here with the sharks. I'm really out here with the motherfuckers that if you turn your back, nigga, he going to have everything that's in your pockets. He going to have everything that's in your whip. Mm. He going to have might, everything that's in your crib. You might have a knife be, in your back, too. Yeah. Real and shit. And you going to really feel it. It's like, if you ain't dead, man. you going you gonna to wish you was. You, like, it's you, niggas you, out here that's like that. When I was that's in really the, like that. When I was in the A, dude. And they ain't like, rapping. It was like, yeah, that's that's something else I wanted to say. When I was in the eight, bro, I had mad friends around me, and at this time, I'm quote doing, unquote friends. Yeah, I'm doing yeah. what I, I'm doing what I be doing out here and shit. But I had this one friend who I asked him to do certain shit. Not no crazy shit. It'd be like I might have my gun on me, and I'd be like, y'all gotta go hit this, bust this move real quick, ride with me or something. Yeah. And he just straight up told me out of all my friends, like, yo, bro, I ain't really feeling this shit. Like, this not really me. Or like I'd be like, yo, let's go do this, that, and third. He'd be the only one that'd be like, bro, that ain't really me, bro. I ain't about to get into that. And me, out of all my, I had niggas that around me that I was closer to than him, but I always respected him the most because I knew when it came down to it, I was always going to get what he really felt like. I was never going to have to. He's not going to. Yeah, to me, that's what made him a real nigga because it wasn't because it wasn't he wasn't trying to be like, you feel me, what he seen out, he was around. He knew he wasn't like that. And he was, and he was the youngest nigga in the room too, so it was kind of like, oh, that's even, yeah, yeah, it was dope as hell. But it's like, then it's it's just like what he said. But it's like, man, the people that live this lifestyle don't really want to rap about it. Like, like the people that the people that's like, like because they they know the they know everything that comes with it, so they don't want to. I give you a real basic example. Tupac wrote, "Brenda's got a baby." 
right? Okay, yeah, yes. That's because Tupac was a rapper. Brenda was never going to write Brenda's Got a Baby. She was never going to write that song about herself because it's her real life. She not even thinking about putting this in, oh, this is every day. Why would the fuck would somebody want to hear about it? See what I'm saying? It's like Tupac is an artist. And as a, from the artist's mindset and the rapper brain, you like, yo, this should be a dope-ass story and this shit on my mind. It's how I express myself. But Brenda, the person who the song actually is about, who really living this story, she ain't about to go to no... She not writing no raps, dude. She got a... You feel me? She got a whole... Listen to the song. She got a million other things going on. And that's how I be when you really like that. It be like... You be looking at that shit sometimes like, man... Niggas that's really living like that and really doing this and really doing that, bro. Niggas don't want to keep rapping about it. Niggas don't want to talk about that shit. That's not. Yeah, I was going to say, it's just not rapping. It's just talking. It, discussing. Even, it could even be, it don't got to be some violent shit. Like niggas that's really struggling out here. Motherfuckers that's really, or niggas that's really rich. Niggas that's really rich don't want to talk about being rich all the time. They don't want people in their business. So it's like, it's a two way street. Rap shit sometimes come with some. I don't know. It'd be a lot of flu gazing, and that's why. That's why, like, when you ask what we be thinking about when we freestyling, when I freestyling, bro, I just be it's literally freestyle. I'm trying to pay, find it a million different I ways to say, say my ABCs. Yeah, I be thinking about it. I'm saying special, my ABCs. Like, like, yo, what like about that. so when motherfuckers? Yeah. When I see motherfuckers yeah. 35 years old talking about clapping motherfuckers, and I put my little niggas on you, and I do this and I do that, and it's like, bro, yeah, you got the power to do this, or you got the whatever to do that. But you really could be an influence to show motherfuckers a better way to do shit. Yeah, but and see, like, like, like it's niggas that's twelve years old that's gonna pick up a gun fast because you got the influence. They life, and then they're looking at the fucking figures in front of them. Yeah, and they tell them this is how you get to this place. Well, isn't this that how you get to being stable, being all right? It's motherfuckers that's living stable and being, and they living good and they got right, but they perpetuating this isn't, this lifestyle. Isn't that the problem with the rap game now? It ain't just the rap game. It's our culture, period. As black yeah, true. people, yes. as black, impoverished Americans, dog, that's our problem. Our problem is we make it seem like it's only one way out. We make it seem like it's only one way to get there, bro. And that's what's glorified, and that's what's hot. And I can't act like I don't talk about I, When I rap, bro, I talk about my shit I've been through, my yeah. experiences. Or whatever, and I try to turn it, twist it, and make it into something like that's that's mm, something that y'all can that y'all can fuck with. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And enjoy and but I'm still expressing what the fuck is going on. But I'm never gonna say in my raps like this is what you need to do. This is how you get it, this is how you do it. It's this a- how I got it, this is how I did it. But uh, this not the only way. I'm it- always gonna make sure that in any project, any album I make, any any long term motherfucking music body of work that I make. I'm gonna make sure that I express to these young size, not me, I'm gonna do whoever, young, young boys, whatever. I'm gonna try to know, dog, it's a million and one ways to get it. Choose one and execute. You feel me? Do not look at one motherfucker like, okay, this is who I fuck with because I'm in this situation. This was gonna get me up. Get out your situation, dog. Even if you gotta bust your gun, nigga, to get out your situation, nigga. Do what you gotta do to get out your situation, bro. And then move on and progress, you feel me? Because at the end of the day, we motherfuckers don't understand the jungle we in, dog. They don't understand the jungle. They don't understand how this shit really, how beef never end, nigga. They don't understand none of that. They don't understand that. They spectators. And when they spectate, nigga, they can only assume because they not in there feeling it and going through it. They not. So they can't tell you how to get out. I'm going to tell you right now, my nigga, I'm down there. I know what y'all going through, bro. It's the other ways out, dog. Do what you gotta do to get out your situation. You feel me? But once you get out, nigga, never look back. You feel me? Never look back. Period. Do not look back. Look I, forward I, and then look that. look past that. What you say, bro? I respect that. For real, that's real shit, bro. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart, dog. I know motherfuckers right now that look like they're not gonna get out. I know motherfuckers right now that's younger than me. That did. 10 years, seven, eight years, and it just, re- like, like coming out of that, you never feel like you got a chance. I'm not going to lie can't. to you. It's like, it's easy to be influenced when you, the easy, it's easier to be influenced when you come from the pot, from less, the more, the less you have, make it easier for you to be influenced. And not even sometimes. Negatively influenced. Yeah, negatively influenced. And, and and not even sometimes not having because sometimes people could have. And like Melo said, they might be in a position where they don't got to get it this way. They could go another way to get what they're trying to accomplish. And there's some people in the street 
who tried to go the other way because they was raised in a sit in a way or a situation that they wasn't with. So they're like, I'm gonna go this way. I don't want to do that. And when they ran that way, that shit backfired in their face. So now they back at square one. And as black people, what the fuck else you gonna do? You see what I'm saying? So how do you guys feel about the culture where the few people who do come from the bottom? Most of the time, they either feed into this nonsense, or if not, and they're never actually truly helping the bottom where they came from. The people that perpetuate it most likely never really came from there. Like Tiger Woods, black people like they skin black, but they don't. They not. They don't like black women. They don't like black music. They don't like black food. They not really into that culture. So it's like they never really come from that. And some of the people that come from these situations and get out. One, they don't be knowing they out yet, and they still be stuck into that same mindset. Or two, they don't know how to bring nobody else up. Just a friendly reminder, guys. Hit the subscribe button in this corner. And then for the newest video, then for the most recommended, and then for our famous dick pic.